heart that hurts I want to spend my life Mending broken people I want to spend my life Mending broken people Welcome to another 3ABN Today cooking program. I'm Jill Morricone, and you might have noticed that we're dressed in some beautiful saris today. That's because we have our friend Padma Bedidi here, and she always brings a sari for us to wear, and yeah. always we have authentic Indian cuisine. So Padma, thank you for coming back to 3ABN and sharing your gifts and abilities in the kitchen with us. Oh, I'm just so delighted, Jill, to be here. Uh, what a great opportunity 3ABN just gives me to share my passion for Indian culinary tradition. You know, and, and I just loved it. I really enjoy doing this, you know, coming here and sharing just healthy recipes. You know, it's not easy to prepare healthy recipes, but Indian spices are just amazing. They have that magic to just transform. They're so aromatic and fragrant and just, delicious. Yes, you know, the flavor is just amazing. So I'm just so excited to be here and I have wonderful recipes to share with you. So I'm excited, you know, I just, they're just so easy to prepare. I really simplified them. You know, really simple, so they're easy to prepare, very flavorful and tasty. So uh, I'm just excited. I am excited too, because I can definitely tell you at home that we love Padma's cooking. Every time she comes here to 3ABN and cooks, we all gather in droves and get to eat the food because it's, it's fabulous. So tell us, maybe someone didn't catch a previous program you were on. You've been here probably 10 years. You've been coming for programs. But maybe someone missed that program. So tell me just a little bit about yourself, your family, your passion for cooking, your mom and a wife. And yes. Tell us all about that. Well, I'm happily married. My husband is just wonderful, amazing. Um, he's a physician working in Tampa. We have two lovely children, and both are physicians too. And um, they're working there in Tampa with us. So we're just so happy and pleased. And you know, we're so involved in mission trips. We go to you know different countries, and my husband is so dedicated, mm -hmm. you know, in serving. And my daughter, she just loves to go with her dad and they both see patients together. You know, Amen. so it's it's just an amazing experience. God uses us wherever the need is. Amen. We don't know wherever there may be, but you know, we just go and you know, do that. So it's just wonderful. I just love. Absolutely. Now you do cooking schools as well? Yes. You know, I've was invited just a couple of months ago to Port Charlotte, our Adventist mm -hmm. church there, and we had about sixty people. Yeah. All Indian cuisine? Yes, I did Ooh. Indian cuisine, but they loved it. I think it's I, a lot of Americans are wanting more flavor and they love the Indian food. Uh -huh. So really, it was amazing to have 60 people there. You know, previous to that, I think it was a couple of years ago, I did it in Orlando and we had 120 people. Oh wow, that's a lot of people to cook for. I know, but it was just amazing. The place was just packed and full. Yeah. You know what I like about your food? Because you can prepare food and the food be uh, not so flavorful or not so tasty. We could be saying, okay, I really want to prepare healthy food, but it might not taste good. But your food is healthy and it tastes amazing. Yeah. And so and that's, that's a gift. Yes, and that's why I want people to try my recipes. Mm -hmm. They're so simple, so they can really try. And I think it's, it's just wonderful when you experience that difference in the taste. You would love to come back and then you know, right. go back and prepare you know, these dishes, I think they're just wonderful. Of so. course. And I know a lot of 3ABN viewers do call me for, for a book. They were, they're like, ask me, do you have a book? <laughs> so I'm working on a cookbook okay. and, you know, I'm, I don't have it yet. Hopefully next year I'll be yes. done, you know. Nice. But I would love to get these recipes out. Yes, absolutely. So what we're going to do now is let's take a look at all those yummy recipes we are making today. We're going to start with a vegan coconut rice. I love your rice. I'm looking forward to that. And then a chickpea curry. Yeah. 
Nice, I like that. And then, oh, some Indian style Brussels sprouts. Yes. Now, you, Brussels sprouts are tricky, you know, but, but I'm telling you with these Indian spices, wow. Nice. <laughs> and then Indian style mashed potatoes and spinach. Now, I wouldn't have even put mashed potatoes and Indian in the same sentence. But, oh, wow. You oh, should try that. I'm excited. Indian style edamame curry. So we're making a couple different curries today. Yes. And then we're ending with a dessert, a vegan carrot kheer. Kheer, yeah. Okay. And what does that mean, kheer? It's just like a, a pudding, you know, consistency that, you know, so it's, it's, it's wonderful. You're going to yes. love it. Yeah, the oh. taste is so good. <laughs> I am ready to eat. I already have my fork here, and I'm ready to try out these recipes for you. And if you cannot write them down fast enough, you know, Padma, sometimes people write in and they say, I couldn't get the recipe down fast enough. You can always go to our website, mm -hmm. 3abn.tv, click on the recipe link, and all of these recipes that Padma made here today, you can just download and print them for yourself. So let's read the first recipe here for the vegan coconut rice. You need two to four tablespoons extra light olive oil, six cloves, two to three cinnamon sticks, three whole green cardamom, three to four bay leaves, two star anise, half a cup cashew halves, half a cup cilantro chopped. You also need half a cup chopped red onions, two to three green chilies chopped, half teaspoon turmeric, one teaspoon ginger garlic paste, three cups basmati rice, one can coconut milk, water and salt to taste. All right, show us yes. what we're doing here. The first thing, we're gonna put oil. We're going to, this is extra light so olive oil. This is not extra. It's not virgin. virgin, no. And why is that? Because we heat up the oil. So when you heat up the oil with the extra virgin, it's, 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 uh, it loses some, you know, and, and it's not good. You cannot heat it up. Okay. This is what I would recommend to use. And now the oil is nice and hot. We do the dry ingredients, okay. some cloves, and some cardamom. Yes. And some cinnamon sticks. Yes. We just use two cinnamon sticks. Gives it all the nice spices and herbs. Yes. Some bay leaves. And here's some anastar. Yes. They're always cute. Yes. And now when you saute them in nice, just a little bit of oil, mm -hmm. you can see the aromas you know, will be released, okay. and also the flavor. So now when we add all these, you know, the onions and the rest of the ingredients, that's how it evenly infuses into the dish, yeah. you know. But if you, when you don't, just a little bit of sauteing, you know, in, in the oil will just release all that flavor and aroma. Nice. Now. Did you cook ever since you were a little girl? As we wait for that to release here? Actually, no. No? No. I, uh, till almost in call, um, after marriage, <laughs> is when <laughs> I started cooking. And I never even knew that I had this passion for cooking. Wow. And now we'll just put a little bit of the cashews yep. here, a half a cup of the cashews. And just like light brown color, we saute them. Okay. And you can just see that. We won't wait till all that, but then I'm going to put. So normally you'd wait longer. Yeah, just a little longer because I know it's going to take time. So I'm just it putting. It does. Yeah. Our onions and green chilies. And usually when I do the onions, so they cook a little fast, I like to put just a little bit of salt. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that helps them to cook faster. Mm -hmm. Now you can see that. Can you smell? <laughs> you know? Oh, yes. It smells fabulous. Mm-hmm. And... Nice. We, we just let that go light brown, okay. you know, but I know, but I know it's going to take a few minutes. So uh, I'm just going to put 
the garlic and the turmeric here. Okay. Turmeric. You use turmeric in a lot of your dishes too. Right? Oh yes. And here's the garlic. Now, this now is... what I do for the garlic? Yeah. How do you is, make your ginger garlic paste? It's just a. Uh, equal amounts of ginger and garlic and then water and paste. And I like to, see how I sauteed a little bit so that okay. that raw smell is gone, you know? Okay. Just for a minute or so, that's all. So you take raw garlic, raw ginger, ginger you and garlic. grind it yeah. up? Yeah, all fresh. Okay. All fresh, no powders. Okay. <laughs> grind it up, a little bit of water and that's it. That's how that's, you make your paste. That's it. Okay. And see, now in this, I'm gonna put the rice. Can you help me? Okay. Can you just put the rice? Now this rice seems like it has, you rinse it? Yes, we did rinse it because it's basmati rice coming from India. <laughs> so we typically rinse our rice. Okay. At least a couple times. And now, did you see, we just have to saute this so all the spices are mixed together. And then you can just see that when we put them to cook, it'll be evenly cooked. See all the spices, see all the oils and the and spices. Just mixing it together. Mixing it together, but because each and every rice grain must be coated, you know. Yeah, and this so. is still, the rice is uncooked. It's just rinsed and yes, uncooked. Okay. That's it. So now I have it. I'll just turn this off. We so don't add the coconut. No, I'll, I'll put it in there and then we'll add everything together. Oh. Now what, what I do, now typically some people they like to do stove top. So you can still add the coconut milk, everything in here, let, let that cook in here. Oh. But I like to do it in a rice cooker, which is so easy. You don't have to worry about going and stirring and doing all that. So this makes it so easy. Life is just, you know, you have to make it easy sometimes and right. don't take the difficult steps but then easy way so I'll transfer this into this if you can put it right here and okay. help me here, can I help you yeah just if you can oh. yep, I'll get this let me grab one over here I'll turn it toward you how's that this that's good will that be good yeah that's good. oh man it smells good can you I can oh. smell that Oof. That is fabulous. Yes, and now this is coconut rice. I'm telling you, it's just the most flavorful rice. I just love coconut rice. And now into this, we are going to add coconut milk. This is a can of coconut milk. So we just, you know, I think it comes not to two cups, but then we measured it and it's almost two cups. You just fill with the rest of it with water, mm -hmm. okay? And then, to this, you add four cups of water. So it's three of three cups of rice, mm -hmm. and you put six cups of the liquid. Okay, so it's just okay. double. Double. Mm -hmm. Okay, and to this, you must add salt. And um, the only thing is, you keep tasting the salt just to make sure that it tastes good according to your taste. Whatever, you know, you taste, but then you taste this liquid. Okay. And then, you and know, see, just... Does it need more yeah, salt? Yeah, does it need more salt or what does it need? So I'm just adding that salt. And now you just mix all this up. Nice. And the cilantro does not go in now? Well, yeah, no, no, we do put it in. But what I do is, like, okay, there it is, right? Mm -hmm. So typically we just close that and let it cook for about 10 minutes, you know, cook for about 10 minutes. And then you take this and then you put some, sprinkle it around. Aww. Yes, sprinkle it around and then let it cook, you know, just in the last 10 minutes okay. or so. Then you just do that because the aroma is just so, I mean, cilantro, you know oh, how it is. I like but cilantro. Yeah, oh, you yes. can cook with it, but if you cook too early, mm -hmm. you it just won't, you know, you it don't. It loses you don't, some of the flavor. Right. Mm -hmm. So just do it kind of, you know, maybe like five, 10 minutes before mm -hmm. you take nice. it off or something. So just at the very end of cooking, you would add that. Yes. Yeah. Oh. So, you know, and, and all we just do is turn that and just push the button yep. here and you're ready to go. That's it. Nice. You know, and, and we don't have to worry about it. Just after 10 minutes, you stir it once. Yep. 
and then make sure from the bottom up. Yep. Just read the directions, you know, for, for our viewers here that want to, you just go read the directions, do it exactly, and it'll come out beautiful. Mm, nice. Yes. And it looks just like this. Yes. That looks fabulous. Yes, you must try it and oh, taste I'm it and tell to. me. <laughs> you better believe I'm going to, and I have my own little sample here. I'm going to get some with the cashew in the back here. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this is good. Mmm. -hmm. Can you see the coconut and mm -hmm. all the spices? Mm -hmm. They just infuse into oh, yeah. the dish. You know, the mm -hmm. rice. It's, a, it just, it's just a mm -hmm. taste so rich. I can taste so the cloves rich. and the cinnamon. I can taste that. I can taste the anise just a little bit. Just a little. You just know, just a hint? Very, very hint, yeah. Ooh. You don't taste too much, but you know. And the cashews give it a nice That's textured good. bite to that. Ooh. You know, you just. Now we're going to make a curry next to go with this. So let's yes. read our recipe for that curry. I think we're making the chickpea curry. Two to three tablespoons extra light olive oil, quarter teaspoon mustard seeds, quarter teaspoon cumin seeds, three quarter cup red onions chopped, one to two green chilies chopped, 10 to 12 curry leaves, one teaspoon ginger garlic paste. You also need half to one teaspoon madras curry powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, one cup vine ripe tomatoes chopped, one can Goya chickpeas, half cup cilantro chopped, and salt to taste. I love curries. Nothing's better than rice with a delicious curry, and you make some incredible curries. Yes. This and one is a chickpea curry, and you chickpea already got curry. some I, oil. I, Yeah, I just started the oil. Okay. Now I'm gonna, first is the mustard seeds. Now talk to us about mustard seeds. Look at that, they're starting to pop. I see that. And cumin seeds, okay. just full of flavor. And see, that's already starting to pop. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to add my yes. onion. Do you always cook with the red onion? I love the red onion flavor. Yes. Very flavorful. And then green chilies. And as I said, I like to put just a little salt in this. And we put um, curry leaves. Look at those curry leaves. They're from my backyard. Are they really? Yeah. Oh, I love that. And just a little salt. Oh. And light brown for the, see the onions are turning? Yeah, just they are. Light brown. They're already This is ginger garlic paste. Yep. Do you I'm, keep that in the fridge or the freezer when you make the ginger garlic paste? I put it in the fridge because I make it often. Or you can put it in the freezer. Now you just, just saute it just a little bit in the oil, just so the, the raw smell yep. is gone, okay? Yep. And then quickly we add the chili powder and turmeric. Nice. And I want to add our tomatoes. and mix all this up. I like to put the lid on this, oh. so that helps the onions to get soft mm -hmm. and cook and all the juices are released. So, you know, that we'll, that's how the gravy is formed. Ah. Yes. Otherwise you lose all the, the moisture. Yes. So this so, keeps the moisture in. In. So I'm just going to reduce the fire just a little bit. It's too high. Yep. But now did you see all the tomatoes when they cook, you have to make sure they're soft. Yeah. And that's and when I add the chickpeas, that's where the gravy comes in. You know, you have nice. to you have to wait and let it cook till the thick gravy comes in. Yep. Yep. But how long would that take? Uh, about five minutes? five minutes, yeah. Okay. It, it usually takes five minutes. It's for, already, you can see it. Yeah, you can see, oh, yeah, you can see that. Mm -hmm. But chickpeas are so high in protein, yeah. and they keep you so satisfied and full. And when they're you, good. Yes, it's really a hearty, hearty meal. Mm -hmm. This is, now, uh, I'm not going to wait for the tomatoes to cook. Mm -hmm. But the next thing that goes in is the chickpeas. Nice. Now you like the Goya brand because they're plumper, don't you think yes, they're plumper? Yes, and really, really tastes good. Yes. My husband doesn't want any other brand than that. <laughs> so guess what? I make lunch for him. Every day he wants chickpeas. Oh, does he really? Yes. And you know, they're so high in protein and it's so healthy. And it's just wonderful taste. 
This is, I'm telling you, this is such a flavorful, mm -hmm. it's just so flavorful. Now I'm gonna add some salt. Always make sure you have enough salt because that kind of gives you the taste. And then you put the lid on again? For, and let yes, it cook yes. Down. I'm gonna put the lid on. So speaking of your husband, he came up with you to Southern Illinois here at 3BN and he's helping in the kitchen. Yes, as, I'm just along so, with Josie. Yes, Josette came with us helping us drive. It takes a long time to drive. So we're so thankful. Yes. Really thankful to the both of them that yeah. they're able to and they help me just to prep. And guess what? They're my guinea pigs at home. <laughs> So you can try the food on them. Yes, that's yes. what I do when I'm, you know, they're experimenting and, and creating these dishes. I just, you know, they're, they're the ones that are, you know, tasting and helping me. So he's truly my right hand and my left hand mm -hmm. and just my support and help. My husband, just, just an amazing, amazing guy. He's, yeah. he's just wonderful and really helps me. But guess what? Every time he says for lunch, I just want chickpeas. Nothing but chickpeas. And you know that chickpeas are just so high in all the, you know, so many proteins yes. and fiber. So it's really, really good. Now, if you want to, I prepare this, I think once before I prepared it in a different way, but this is a curry form. Nice. Can you imagine the ginger, garlic, and the oh, cumin? Yes. These spices, this is a stove top cooking. Right. So you know that everything is just infused into the dish. As I told you, just by sauteing with a little bit of oil, the cumin seeds and the mustard has incredible mm. flavor. Oh, it surely yeah, does. Yes. So these are these are the ones that just totally transform the dish. Mm -hmm. And I used canned mm -hmm. chickpeas. If you don't want to, some people like to do it fresh. So you just um, you soak, soak them overnight. Yeah, soak them overnight, okay. and then you just cook them, boil them. And you can just use it. And the taste is, of course, amazing because it's fresh. And, you know, that's the difference between canned and that. But, I mean, this is still good. You know, and you don't have the time. That's okay. You can, of course. You know, but, but you I can. I would vote for this variety. Yes. But you. Because <laughs> it's quicker. Yes. But, yeah. you know, you, I just like to kind of mash these tomatoes a little yeah. bit so that the gravy comes out. And you would and leave the lid on and cook it another 10 minutes or something? 10 minutes, okay. yes. Because we just want, you can, you can see that the thick gravy is forming. Mm -hmm. The tomatoes are the ones. But I like the vine ripe tomatoes. The taste is amazing. And at the same time, it, it's, just, it's just wonderful. I like these tomatoes mm -hmm. with the curry. Oh, and yeah. that's why I use it. But if some people maybe like to use can, mm -hmm. I don't know, tomatoes. You can try. I've never tried it. <laughs> And we have a final product over here. I see it. It looks amazing, Padma. I can see with the gravy coming out on that. Yes. yes. You know, I just wait, waited and cooked it down. And, you can see you know, that. The, yes. Yeah, but the really taste, nice. taste is just out of this world. You must try it. I am going to try it right now. I got one I heated up a little bit here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Did you see that? Oh, this is amazing. Mmm-hmm. See, you're the only one that gets to taste it and say. <laughs> but it's the, mm. it's the curry powder too, mm -hmm. you know, just the curry powder and just the ginger garlic, and just all the spices Use together. the Madras curry powder. Curry powder, And yes. is there a reason for that? Yes, because I'm South Indian and we every, you know, we use from every state uses kind of a little different. Mm -hmm. We mix the spices differently in our curry powder. Mm -hmm. So this is typically what I use. Nice. And, and it's really, really wonderful. Oh, it's amazing. Yes. Now, before we go to our next recipe, we want to talk about ways that This is the cilantro oh, almost cooked, so I'm just going to put it just a little bit because okay. we, do, we do this last. So it doesn't overcook and kill the flavor. Yes, mm -hmm. just like two minutes before you get it off the stove, mm -hmm. you just put it on there and then it'll cook beautifully and the flavor comes out. What were you going to This is amazing. I Sorry. was just going to say we want to ensure you at home can contact Padma. Many times we put up an address roll at the end, but this program we're doing a little different. We're going to put up her, her email address throughout the program. So if you want to contact Padma, her email is Padma Medidi. Let me spell that. P-A-D-M-A-M-E-D. IDI mm -hmm. at gmail.com. So if you want to email Padma for tips or recipes yes. or anything, maybe you want her to come do cooking, you can contact her. So. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go to our next recipe here and we'll read that recipe. 
the Indian style Brussels sprouts. One to two tablespoons extra light olive oil, half teaspoon mustard seeds, half teaspoon cumin seeds, one teaspoon urid dal, one tablespoon minced garlic, one to two green chilies chopped, five to 10 curry leaves, one pound Brussels sprouts trimmed and quartered, salt to taste. Now Brussels sprouts might seem like a southern dish or something, you know, traditional American cuisine, but we're making this Indian style. Yes, I want to try, you. I want you to try it with the Indian spices. Oh yes, I want to. And tell me how it tastes, we already have the oil here. This is our non-virgin olive oil, this is the... Um, this is extra light. Extra light. Got yes, it. and now guess what's going first? The mustard seeds? Exactly. Yay. Mustard seeds and then just heat it up a little bit. More. We need to make sure it starts popping. Yeah. And these are the cumin seeds. Nice. And this is the urandal. This is a great now, combination. What is urandal then? <coughs> it's split peas, but it's a different kind of piece. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, see how tiny they are? They are. Yes. This is a different kind of piece. They give flavor? That great smell that you have. It's because of the urad dal, mm -hmm. and of course the cumin too, okay. and the mustard seeds. Nice. So you you should... We gotta wait till it starts just popping. Just a little pop. bit. Yeah. That's fun. Then you know it's... Ready. Ready. Because that's when the aroma is released and the flavor. Oh. Yes, that's when you saute. But for the mustard seeds, they have to pop. And if they don't, you can tell. It's not that tasty. Really? Yeah. So it makes a difference in the flavor. Absolutely, if they pop. absolutely. That's why I say in every recipe, just make sure when it starts to sputter, you know, then you then you can add. It's getting warm, but it's not popping yet. I know it takes because we should have wait. Put the oil just a little. Because <laughs> we're anxious for it to go. That's why. <laughs> so. Oh. Anyway, it'll start popping, but we'll add um, the garlic because I know it, we can't wait. I'm just adding the garlic. Now, this is not the ginger garlic paste. This is just no, this minced is garlic. Chopped. Okay. Yeah, minced or chopped or whatever. Garlic. And this is the chilies. Mm -hmm. Now, green chilies really add the flavor for this particular dish. Now, I don't use any curry powder. Mm -hmm. I don't need the curry powder. You know, it has very light, we don't need too much for this. It's not like I'm currying it, it's just a saute, mm. that's all. Mm. So when you blend this cumin and just the garlic with the green chilies, mm -hmm. well, people that don't like green chilies, maybe you can use something that's not spicy. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't need to use chilies. You, you know, you, that's what I'm saying, this Indian dishes you can change any way you want, depending on your taste. But see, now that we sauteed it oh, yeah. a little bit, but we must make sure also the garlic is light brown. Yes, that's important. Yes, and then we can add the Brussels sprouts. So you've already trimmed them and you've already quartered them. Yes, but you know, you have to trim them and cut the ends off and make sure they're nice and green in color, not any wilted leaves when you pick, you know, the Brussels sprouts so they can taste good. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little salt. Nice. It smells fabulous. It yes. smells really good. And that smell is from the mustard. Is it really? Yes, and the cumin. Oh, yeah, and the urad dal. We didn't put anything else in here. You know, I mean, nothing much, no curry powder, nothing else, mm -hmm. but just that. And did you know that cumin seeds have a lot of health benefits? Mm -hmm. Yes, and now it's like people are realizing and it's uh, good for digestion. Mm -hmm. It's heart health, you know, for your heart, it's really good. So it has so many health benefits too. Mm -hmm. So. These spices, it's just not only for flavor, right. but also their health. It's for your body and yes. for your well-being. Isn't yeah. that wonderful when you can actually eat food that makes a difference for you with your health? Yes. It and makes you, you feel better. And you know, I make like a tea, mm -hmm. and when I sing, I like to drink that. That helps to kind of soothe your voice, mm -hmm. and it helps. So somebody told me that this is really good, and, and I really make that. Yeah and I boil just some and drink it. Speaking of singing, I'm glad you brought that up because Padma is a great singer and she has a CD out, Petals of Love. Isn't it called Petals of Love? Yes. And what sort of songs do you sing? Um, those are Indian 
nice. Indian Christian devotional songs. Nice. Those are all, and it's, it's beautiful. It's uh, Galatians 5.22 is the theme. So my titles are Love, Joy, Peace, Patience, Kindness, Meekness. Those are the titles of my songs. And it's just wonderful. I like that. My dad sings and we both sing together. <laughs> He's an amazing singer. Yeah. So that's based off of the fruit of the spirit then. The love, joy, peace, long suffering. Those are the titles of my songs. Amen. Yes. Amen. And so many people are blessed. So if people email you, can they get a copy of the CD? Yes. Okay. And everything, all free downloads in my website. Oh, Nice. Yes, okay. my website is uh, sweetsoothingmusic.com. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Or we have the your email address up now. Yes. We, you can always email Padma as well, padmamididi at gmail.com. And I'm looking up here, we have some Brussels sprouts that are already cooked. Yes. How long did you cook them for? You Just think? about five minutes. It's nice when they have a crunch. Yes. I don't like them overcooked. Yes. yes. Nothing worse than mushy Brussels sprouts. Yes, so this now, is... Done. You try it and tell me how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Can you see it's not overly spiced? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Very mild, mm -hmm. but yet you can just taste it. It's, mm -hmm. It just transforms. And I'm telling you, my friend that does not like Brussels sprouts, mm -hmm. she loves this. <laughs> She's like, if you make it this way, I'll eat it. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, some kids that may not like it. So you can try this recipe. It's very simple. You saw it didn't even take us five minutes. Mm -hmm. It's very easy. Let's yes. go to our next recipe and read that. For the Indian style mashed potatoes and spinach, you need six to seven medium red potatoes boiled, peeled and mashed. Make sure you discard the peel. Three to four tablespoons extra light olive oil, half teaspoon cumin seeds, half teaspoon mustard seeds, one teaspoon erid dal, half cup red onion chopped, two to three green chilies chopped. You also need two garlic cloves chopped, eight to 10 curry leaves, half teaspoon turmeric powder, half to one teaspoon madras curry powder, and eight ounces of spinach chopped. Now, traditionally, when you think of mashed potatoes, or at least when I think of mashed potatoes, I think of lots of butter and milk, but we're not putting any of those things in here. No, just without that, this mashed potato is so creamy. Mm. Yes, you will just love it. And you just want to jazz up your mashed potatoes a little bit. You try with the Indian spices. Yes. I think our oil is hot now. I'm going to start with the mustard seeds. Okay. You see that? I do. See We're the sizzling there? They are. And there's the cumin seeds and the uradal. This is, is the base for mostly the vegetables. So once so, you, if you have these ingredients in your kitchen, then you can make you can, all yes, these different recipes. Different. And you know what? If you don't have mustard seeds, it's okay. You can try with the cumin seeds, not the powder, the seeds. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can use powders for certain dishes, but yeah. these particular ones, the seeds are... You now, the they're flame. not popping yet, are they? I want to hear them just, pop. Yeah, see, they're just getting ready to pop. Yeah. We're going to, everyone be quiet and listen for them, the seeds to pop. Oh, they're starting. Yeah? Oh, I can hear them. Yeah. Yes. Just one go. pop and that's good. <laughs> so you just put your onions. And then your chopped garlic. And your chilies mm -hmm. and the curry leaves and saute this. Oh, it's good and warm. Yes. It's browning. Already. And anytime you, you want it to brown quickly, you always, uh, you know, you just also close the lid. It goes faster. Yep. But I'm just stirring here. You don't want it to burn. Yeah. But you see how much just the flavors that are going, but it's fresh. The mm, garlic mm. is fresh. Yeah. You know, everything, I'm not using onion powder, I'm not using garlic powder, but these are fresh, and that's what makes the difference. The flavor is so the, much better when you yes. use the fresh versus the powder. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So just see this, now it's almost brown. So I'll just add the curry powder. Nice. And the turmeric. This was the Madras curry powder. Madras used, right? curry powder, turmeric, and this is oh. the spinach. Now you use fresh spinach. Yes. Well, you can use frozen spinach. It's okay. There's nothing wrong in that. But 
you know, fresh, you can really smell and taste the difference. Oh yeah. Fresh and frozen. The flavor is much better. Yes. So you've just washed and cut it. Just washed and cut it. And you don't, you don't put the lid on spinach because we don't want to overcook it. We just want it to wilt a little bit. And then you can put the mashed potatoes in here. And when you mix all these flavors, mm. this is just incredible. It's amazing. I love the mashed potatoes. I'm telling you, so many of my friends, my friend actually tried this recipe and it came out good and she's like, I'm not making it any other way. <laughs> this is my way and, yes. and, and guess what? My friends love it when I make it. And I make this all the time. They just love the flavor. Do you see how the uh, spinach oh, yeah. is it's just wilting? Wilting. Yes. It's wilting. And now, it, it doesn't have to cook that much. Yeah, you don't want to overcook it. We can, we can put the potatoes in here. Now, when you cooked these potatoes, you peeled, oh, obviously, yes, first. Tell yes, us what yes. you did. This is the red potatoes. Good. I boiled it mm -hmm. and just peeled it and mashed it. Okay. That's it. Did and you boil it with salt? I didn't. No, no okay. I didn't. Well, I'll add the salt now. Okay. You know, we just used, like, six to seven medium potatoes. Mm-hmm. And you just make sure you put the salt in here. You just want it to taste good. Yeah. So that makes it so creamy. With the yeah. spinach, you think? Is that what adds the creaminess? Or what, just, just what the makes spices, it creamy? just the spices, everything oh. together. And you just taste it and tell me how beautiful that taste. Oh, I'm going to try it. I know I was it's, just in the back and Josie told me that she, this was her favorite dish. I think yes, but the, for the vegans that, you know, you're not using any dairy, no milk, mm -hmm. no cream, but I see the other mashed potatoes, they use a lot of oh, yeah. milk and everything, mm -hmm. but this one you don't use anything and, and it's just so tasty. Mm -hmm. You will just love the flavor, but in combination with the spinach mm -hmm. is what I'm telling you is now, you have more health benefits. Oh, you know, yeah. that's what I'm saying. So you can do this, but if you have spinach, it just adds a little oh, bit yeah. more. So how long do you cook that for? Uh, not long. You, you just put have the lid to on or no? Uh, no now, now you can put the lid on and then just like for two minutes, let everything cook together. Mm -hmm. And we're all done, but look how beautiful. It's beautiful. It is. It looks amazing. And the one over here looks amazing too. Now this one you've already cooked. Yes. And that one's all ready. All ready, yes. With the little chilies and the cilantro. I like that. Great garnish. Try it and tell me how you like my Indian style mashed potatoes. Mmm. Oh, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. It took see? me just a minute to get to the flavor. I don't know why. It didn't hit me at first. I just had to... Kind of. Oh. You can't imagine mashed potato this light. No. Ooh. <laughs> Not like that. That is delicious. Good, good flavor. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just the garlic and the onions, everything fresh with our spinach. You can use frozen too. It's okay. It'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Yes, it'll still be fine. But I'm, you know, just mashed potato. I would want everybody to try this. Oh, yes. You've got to try this. Yes. It's amazing. Ooh. Let's read our next recipe. I think we're making another curry, if my memory is correct. The Indian style edamame curry. Oh, I like edamame. Three to four tablespoons extra light olive oil. One cup red onion chopped. Five to six curry leaves. One to two green chilies chopped. Four cloves garlic crushed. Half teaspoon turmeric powder. One half to one teaspoon madras curry powder. One 16 ounce bag frozen shelled edamame. Two medium vine ripe tomatoes chopped. Half cup cilantro roughly chopped. And salt to taste. You can't have a program with authentic Indian cuisine without having at least two curries in the program. Yeah. Because we made the chickpea curry already, and this is an edamame curry. But you know, when I eat edamame, I just put a little salt, and that's kind of it. But I think we're going to do more than that. This is like a wow. <laughs> You're going to say, wow. Yay. Now, first, we do the onions. Ah, so this one doesn't have the mustard seeds. No mustard seeds. seeds. And the cumin seeds. No. And the, okay. This is a different nice. curry. 
we had our very oil simple. nice and hot. Yes. So green chilies, just remember, green chilies are just to spice it up a little bit. Mm. If you do not want it hot, you don't have to. Okay. You can use another maybe light pepper. Mm -hmm. Although you like it hot, you can either add extra chilies or there's different kind of habaneros. There's jalapenos. Oh, yeah. There is um, Jamaicans use scotch bonnet. Oh, the flavor is amazing. <laughs> you know, you can you can use those. So it depends. Whatever you want to do, you can change it a little bit mm -hmm. and make it either spicy or less spicy. Nice. Okay. Okay. Now, it's, you said you're from South India. South Indian food generally more spicy or less spicy than the other? More. Okay. <laughs> we love it hot. Hotter the better. <laughs> well, this is very mild that you're presenting for us here then. Very mild. <laughs> I never cook with half a teaspoon of okay. the curry powder. It's always more than a teaspoon or two. Right. You know, but it's, you, you, you just love this adamami um, because of the flavor. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to add the curry powder. Nice. And the turmeric. Mm -hmm. Saute it quickly. And the adamami. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. And now, now was it the, fresh or was it frozen at a moment? Frozen. You can get it in the frozen section. Yep. And it's very simple. They're very high in protein. You know, soy. These oh, yeah. little green gems, I call them. Well. Wonderful health benefits. Now, for this to cook a little bit, I just want to add a little water. See that? You just make sure your adamant yeah. submerged under the water to help them cook. Now you would just cook them for three to five minutes. Just You're going to put the lid on? Yes. Okay. I like to put the lid on. That will help to cook. And after that, I'm going to put the tomatoes. Nice. And the tomatoes, you have to kind of cook them down mm -hmm. so that you'll get a nice thick gravy. Like Remember, we did for the chickpea curry. Exactly. We put the tomatoes in, we put the lid on, it kind of cooked down. Yes, mm -hmm. so that's what it is. And when do we add the cilantro? At the very end. I'm yes. learning. Yes. <laughs> You're getting better. See? Yes, I know. You'll be a great cook. You're not only dressed Indian, but I'll you be can also... an Indian cook. <laughs> yes. I think we've done this quite a bit, Jill. You must be a pro by now. You must try a recipe and tell me and say, wow, I did it. I did it myself. That's yes. Right. <laughs> So now you can see this nicely sizzling, oh, yeah. but you'll have to cook that down. It will take five minutes and you'll see maybe half of the, it'll come to like half the water. You see, we cannot have mm -hmm. it that watery. Right. It has to cook a little bit, mm -hmm. but five minutes or so, I would say three to five minutes, depending on the heat, maybe if we can increase it. So we'll there. pretend that the five minutes has happened, even though yes. normally it would, and then you would add the tomatoes. Yes. So okay. I'm going to add the tomato. I know we're speeding up the process. Yes. Normally you would wait at home. I would. Okay. Just for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then you add the tomatoes. Look at that beautiful, oh, beautiful. color. Yes, I love that. But the taste, you would never believe that this is adamame. Yeah. You will not because you, I think, but how are you used to eating usually? I think you just add usually a Usually you salt. add salt. Absolutely. That's all. Mm -hmm. But did you see how many ingredients mm -hmm. went into this? We did. The curry powder. Oh yeah. With the garlic. The turmeric. Turmeric, mm -hmm. and the curry leaves. Curry leaves. Just all that adds. We had such garlic too. Yes. Yeah. But it's a depth of flavor. Mm -hmm. You know that's what it is. We want to make these dishes really taste good, mm -hmm. so we can. I would love to. You know, people that don't like to eat, you know, certain dishes, but then make them so tasty that they're like, wow. We don't miss anything else, yes. you know, they don't, they, because these are healthy and we should be cooking in this way. So you want to eat healthy and stay healthy? I think a couple of things we eat with our eyes. So if something looks appealing, if it looks yummy, then we say, okay, I think I could try this food at home. And then second thing is we eat with our taste buds. So you, it might look good and you try it and then you say, 
oh, I'm not sure I like the flavor of this. So yeah. both things are important. What the presentation, what the dish looks like, but also how it tastes. Easy. And your food is amazing. Yes. So it and passes it, both tests. So that's my goal is like, you know, yeah. I want to make it easy. Mm -hmm. I want people to try it. Yeah. See now, it's, it's, it's simmering, but we would normally, normally it let it cook yeah. a little bit more. And here's my cilantro. Right at the end. Yes, you just Yay. sprinkle all the cilantro. And it just gives an amazing flavor. Then we have the final dish here that you have clearly cooked down because you can see the difference there. Yes. But that one's all cooked down. It looks amazing. You must try oh, it. Oh, you tell better me. believe I'm going to try it. I have some right here. Mmm. Oh, that's amazing. Have you ever tried mm. adamame mm. with such flavor? Mm. Yes. That is amazing. You have got to try these curries at home. You know, the curry and everything Ooh. just transforms oh, it and yeah. takes it to a, another level. You know, oh, yeah. it's just wonderful. I love it. We're going to make dessert last, so let's make the kheer. 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 Let's make that recipe. Let's read that recipe first. The vegan carrot kheer. One cup carrots peeled and sliced. Two cans regular coconut milk. Three quarter to one cup brown sugar. One half cup cashews chopped and roasted. Or roasted almonds or pistachios one teaspoon cardamom powder. I don't think any meal is complete unless we have dessert. Yes. Every, every cuisine, every ethnicity, you've got to have some sort of dessert. So I'm excited to make this kheer, you call it. Yes, kheer. Okay. Carrot kheer. Carrot kheer. It's kheer. with carrot. Okay. And we have over here already, I put two cans of coconut milk. And I like to use regular meaning uh, full coconut milk. It's not... Um, not low fat or not, light no, fat. No, 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 for this particular recipe. And coconut milk is good, it's a healthy fat, you know, so you can use that. We are not using any other products but coconut milk, so which is good. So you see that just for about two minutes, you want this coconut milk to nicely heat up. And then once it's hot, do you, can I interrupt you about the coconut milk? Do you yeah. sometimes not use the can and you make it fresh or? Yes, a lot of times in, in India and other places we, we don't get, you know, canned. Mm -hmm. So we can, use, we can make fresh coconut milk. All you do is grate, it, grate the coconut mm -hmm. and boil water and you put the coconut, grated coconut in the boiling water oh. and then you just take it and strain it with a nice, you know, um, like a cheesecloth sort of? Yes, yeah. cheesecloth okay. or a mash, you know, but mm -hmm. strain it and then you'll get nice thick coconut milk. Oh, nice. And that's fresh. Now that's, you cannot even compare <laughs> okay. to the can. Yeah, but, but yeah, it's really, really good. Now this is the carrot. I will tell you what I did. Yeah. I boiled the carrots. Mm -hmm. I actually steamed, I didn't boil it. You know, just steam is good. Mm -hmm. You have the, everything right there. And uh, just mash it up with a quarter cup of water. Nice nice into a thin, you know, soft paste. See there? I do. And you just keep stirring this, oh. mix it all. So you want to mix the creamy coconut with the creamy carrots and put yes. that all together. How long do you cook it for? About five minutes. Okay. And now I'm ready to add the sugar. So we'll pretend we just did it for five minutes. Yes. Now we're adding the sugar. Sugar. And then nice. you do it for another Probably 15 or 10 minutes. Now the consistency, mm. yes. It takes a little time. You just need to keep on stirring. We don't want to burn this. And I can see it's really turned orange yes, now. Yes, but it's kind of pudding consistency, you know. Or you, you don't want it that thick, it's okay. You can also make it just a little bit. So the longer not, you cook it, the thicker it becomes? Yes, or? Okay. yes. Mm -hmm. because, because of the sugar. Yeah. And that's what... So we have to keep on stirring this and... <laughs> this dish is a labor of love. Yes, you have to <laughs> keep on stirring it. And now, after maybe 10, 15 minutes, mm -hmm. when you know that it's thickening, then you add the cardamom. Oh. This is the cardamom powder. Yep. Now, Why aren't we using the seeds in this one? In this one, you have to use the powder. You, you take the, you know, take the pod and open and get the seeds out and you do it fresh. My daughter actually, she crushed it and made it into a powder for me. My daughter was supposed to be here, but she couldn't. But you know, 
she just helped me so much in preparing everything. She cut everything chopped. Of course, they're my guinea pigs, so <laughs> you know they get to taste the food. But I don't this, think I've ever met your daughter <clears throat> before, have I? Has she ever met no, her? No, she hasn't. So maybe next time. We would she love was, that. She was, she was just so excited and wanted to be here, but couldn't. Yeah. And this is the cardamom powder. So she ground it herself. Yes. Okay. If you make it fresh, you can see the difference. You can, you can, you can get store bought. You can use that too. Oh, yeah. But this is this is a you know whole lot different. So you just add this; it'll take you to the next level. It is just <laughs> so flavorful. So I'm just adding the cardamom, and then the cashews. Now cashews really give a wonderful texture to this dish because it's so creamy with the carrots. Yes. The the cashews really. Give you so just nice. a little bit of crunch then. Crunch, yeah. That combines it's, with the smooth. I yes. like that. So you can use roasted carrots, I mean roasted uh, cashews, and then chop them and put them in this. We have to just keep on stirring this. It will take a little while to finish this dish, but you can see how it's coming together. It has mm -hmm. thickened a little bit. It has, I can yeah. see that. You can see that, see, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it is thick. Yep. But you need to increase it like to a medium high or, you know, and not the heat, put it, the heat mm -hmm. so that it'll help yeah. to reduce. Basically, you kind of reduce it to a little thicker consistency. Mm -hmm. I would say pudding consistency. Oh, nice. So when it's done, and do you cool it and put it in the fridge? Yes. Or? This is really good chilled. Nice. Yes. Nice. So we chill it and then you eat it nice and it's i love that when it's all done it looks like this and we have one here i am going to dig out of this bowl because i want to try some sure see what it's like now this is real thick padma yes i can and see it was that. it was in the fridge so it thickens even more it makes it even thicker mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you kind of garnish it with little cashews on yes top <laughs> it's beautiful mm. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. See how creamy it is? It is decadent. Yes. That's the word for this dessert. Yes. It is truly decadent because it it's is. so creamy. It is. It is. And the flavor. Yes. And we, do, we didn't use, usually they use regular milk, but this is coconut milk. Yeah. Coconut milk is just so creamy. And you like that um, cardamom. Oh, can yeah. you Can you taste? Oh, I can taste the cardamom. That's Absolutely. what it is, actually, that gives the whole flavor to it. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. Oof. So tell us, before we look at all our final products, because we got them all spread out very pretty, and we'll show you what we made. Um, before we go to that, tell me, you did a women's conference or spoke for some women at a church here. Yes, recently. and and it just so happened. I was visiting a church, and this lady just invited me and said, uh, can you share your testimony with the women's group there? And I shared it with them. They just loved it and said, you must come back because we're going to have a conference where you know, a lot of women from the area, mm -hmm. different area churches are going to get together. Can you come and give your testimony there? Mm. They were just so touched by it. And, you know, just the work that we're doing and how God is leading. It's, it's not us, but it's just God's guidance Amen. and his direction. You know, we just don't know how, but he's taking us places. And I know the, um, a pastor wants us to go to South Africa, but I'm not sure exactly. They're trying to make all the arrangements mm -hmm. there. But whenever it's ready, wherever the God leads, Amen. we will be ready to go. My husband mm -hmm. is so wonderful <laughs> and he's so willing and so supportive. Mm -hmm. And he's a wonderful physician. So he loves to go to different places. And guess what? My daughter accompanies him too. And I know once they both like saw 100 patients together. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they each saw 50 patients or yeah, they each yeah. saw 100? In a day. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's like fast, but you know. This would be like, excuse me, third world countries yes, where people don't have yes, access yes, to medical care yes. and they go in and provide go free on. clinics? Yes, or? free okay. clinics, yeah. And you know, my daughter loves to travel. She went to Haiti, all these different places. And my husband goes to, and you know, we do it together. So mm -hmm. wherever the Lord leads us, you're willing to go. We want to put up um, Padma's email one more time for you. So if you would like to contact her, just email Padma, P-A-D-M-A, Medidi, M-E-D-I-D-I, -D -I, at gmail.com. And send her an email. I know that she'd love to hear from you if you have questions regarding this Indian cuisine. Yes. And also my website, they can go and they have all my 
um, music, Petals of Love, yeah, which is the CD yes, project. Yes, CD. All the music, all free downloads, all the recipes, nice. everything is nice. there. All the links are there, so Amen. they can go there and watch. SweetSoothingMusic.com. That was it. Thank you. SweetSoothingMusic.com. Or if you didn't get these recipes written down, of course, you can go to her website, or you can always go to 3bn.tv, and we have the link there. Click on Recipes, and all the recipes will be there that we did today. Let's look at what we made today. Yes. I'm ready to eat, even though I've been eating during the program. We started with the rice there. Yes, that's coconut rice, and you saw the flavor that was so just wonderful flavor. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. I love that, and if you just want to move around, we did, or let's see what we did next. Oh, that's the chickpea curry. Chickpea right? curry. Actually, we eat in combination, mm -hmm. rice and curry together. The chickpea curry goes really well with the coconut rice. It's a great combination, yes. I bet that would be amazing together. Yeah, together. We eat yes. it together. It's, it's really nice when you mix it together and eat it. Yeah, absolutely. Let's look at the next dish here. Oh, this is the Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, yes. Mm. You've never tasted it Indian style. They were amazing. <laughs> oh, I love that, yes. And then next to that is the mashed potatoes and spinach, spinach yeah. but it's Indian style. Indian style, because you saw how creamy it was. Oh, yeah. It was so creamy and tasted really good. It's just the spices and everything else that you mix together. Mm -hmm. When you blend those flavors, it's... It's, it's incredible. It yes. is amazing. And then we have, this is the edamame curry. Edamame curry. That was yummy. Yes. Everything was good. <laughs> and the edamame, you know, the flavor is just so much because, you, because of everything that we put in there. Of course. And then the kir. The kir, carrot, carrot kir. Yes, it takes a little while to make it, but it's really worth trying that dish because you don't have any other products but healthy, healthy, healthy carrots, mm -hmm. coconut milk, and it's really good. So I think you must try that. I would encourage our viewers to try these recipes. They're very simple, mm -hmm. very flavorful, and tasty. Oh, that's what I like. I like simple because we're all busy. I like flavorful because you want your food to taste good, and I love that. So thank you yes. so much, Padma. Thank you for coming and sharing your gifts with our three men family at home. And I want to we thank you. Love. Thank you for coming and hosting this and dressing in a beautiful sari. Uh, it was my privilege. Yes. We thank you for joining us at home as well. Take these recipes to your home and heart. Share them with your friends. Bye-bye. Yay.